How, bruh? Oh man, that was funny. That was that was a good clip. Um, <laughs> when I when that game happened, um, that game gun game, I did not win. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, it probably would be an upload. Probably. But uh, yeah, no, I did not win that gun game. <clears throat> it was actually really funny. Um, that kid was just mad. Like, because I just went in there and I s just snubbed him out with that laser. Um, but yeah, today is a day where I'm going to do a commentary. I know these things are rare and all, but uh, occasionally I do them here and there whenever I feel like, you know, sometimes. And uh, in this case, my dog's looking at me. She's back, by the way. And uh, while I'm recording this, I have no internet, so who knows when the fuck you'll see this. But uh, the gameplay's on my on my hard drive, and I mean, it's not like I'm really doing anything with my computer with no internet, so it's easy to render videos. Um, so today we are going to talk about the types of people that I absolutely. 100% equivocally hate, and these kind of people are pretty much scum in my eyes. They pretty much don't need to exist in my world, and I truly just don't want to see their face at all anywhere in my life at all, for any reason. Um, like, there are people that you can dislike, and there are people that you can hate, but you'll just see them and you'll just kind of shrug your shoulders and be like, well, I don't hate you that much. And it's just, it, it's, it's not fun. Um, my first retail job, there was this kid. His, <laughs> I'll actually use his name because it's such a weird fucking name that honestly, I, I don't really care, but, um, he went by La, and his name was La Shatik. Um, and pretty much, he was the most annoying, the most lazy, and the most, I don't know, just fucking dumb person. Um, like, uh, I'm sorry if he ever hears this, but... In a way, I'm really not, because, like, at that point in, in my first retail job, I was a key holder of the store. I had keys to the store. I could open and close and do all that thing and, you know, set up deposits and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Um, like, I, I did all that. And he was hired, and I never had anything to do with the hiring in that store. But from pretty much day one the people that worked with me in that store knew that I did not like him very much. Um, and I mean, I was nice to him and everything. Like I, I, if, if I hate you and I have to work with you, I will be nice to you. I will try and, you know, not be upset or anything like that. Like, I'm not going to take it out on you. I'm not going to like get upset with you, especially if you're somebody that's working under me. Um, like, I'm, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to, you know, flip out on you for no reason. Like, I, 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 that shit stays outside. Like, that it's work. Work is work. Everybody does their job. Um, the thing is, this kid did not do any of his job. He would literally walk around the store and pretend that he's shooting a basketball. He would talk to people for all of two seconds. He would say hi and walk away. Meanwhile, the entire point of that store was for us to try and sell stuff not on commission, which was <laughs> a fucking joke. Because, um, I mean, if you're going to try and make us sell stuff and be all pushy about selling stuff and being like, oh, well, you know, you have to sell this, this, and this, and you have to, everybody that walks in, you have to try and sell them something. I'm like, well, where's my commission then? Like, if, if you're going to force me to be so pushy and be up people's asses and things like that, then why? Where Where's my cut? Like, uh, I firmly believe, and this is something that I will take with me to any store, any retail store that I work in, unless I am getting commission, 
I will not go up a customer's ass and tell them, oh, you need to do this, and oh, this is great for your child, blah, 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 and this is great, and blah, 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 blah. Like, no, I refuse to do that. I'm not that kind of person. Um, if someone says that there's commission involved and it's not a piece of shit, like, percentage, like 1%, I mean, sure, maybe I'll give it a shot. But even then, like, I, I know people that work with commission-type things, and... Things don't always work out the way that they should because people are fucking scum. But that's a different story. Um, really, it's not, but it's a different story. Um, just people, people like that kid. Like when he said that he couldn't work there anymore for whatever reason, I was completely, completely happy, and everyone that worked with me knew I was happy like every like they literally told me they're like you hated him I'm like yes yes I did and that's like one of the first and only cases where I've truly hated somebody like if they are a lazy piece of shit and they don't do their job they I, I don't like you like I'm sorry if you're getting paid to work in a store and all you're gonna do is sit around and walk around and shoot imaginary basketballs into imaginary hoops you you deserve to not have a job you deserve to get your ass kicked like I'm sorry it's it's just you know what I'm not even sorry it's that is the worst you are the worst kind of person in the world if you literally walk around and do nothing while you're getting paid like I'm sorry but I, I I don't agree with that. Even in my job right now where I just started, like, I'm standing around and I'm just a cashier. And holy crap, when I'm bored, I look for things to do. I can't just stand there and just rationally sit there and be like, oh, well, I'm just going to stand here for six hours. Like, no. I walk up to people and I'm like, okay, is there something that I can do? Like... Can can I do something? Can I can I not just stand here for six hours because I'm going to kill myself if I do? Um, like I I can't stand that sort of thing. I personally, if I'm getting paid to be there, then my phone is away because I'm not a dick. I respect the fact that cell phones belong outside and with all this modern technology and everything and all of our smartphones and everything, I shouldn't be sitting there looking at Twitter while I'm on work. Like, I'm working. That's my job. Let me do my job. Um, I mean, yes, I will occasionally take a peek, but, I mean, that's that's normal. Like, everybody does it. I've watched managers there literally pull out their phones and just stare at them, and I'm like, all right, well, if you're doing it, then fuck it. I have every right to. But, like, I, I can't support people that literally sit around and do nothing. And, I mean, even at my last job, there was one manager that I completely disliked and I did not like at all. Uh, actually, there were two, but one left before I did, and that was great. Um, and these these managers, they, they literally acted like they did shit, but I swear I never saw them do a thing. Like, there would be lines going out the door... And they would just walk by, like, casually, like, there's no big deal. They wouldn't call anybody over to help me to get somebody to help me. Or they wouldn't, you know, get on the damn register themselves, even though there are four other managers in the building. So if something happens, somebody can get up off their ass and do something. Like, that sort of thing I don't respect either, is your manager, you, ex you have these rules, and... It says if there's too many people in the line, that means get your fucking ass over here and help me with the line. Instead of just being like, oh, I'm just going to walk by because I'm really busy with, like, my paperwork. Fuck paperwork. It's a busy goddamn day. Get off your paperwork and do fucking work. Um, like, that's... So, basically, I just... I, I can't stand people that are fucking lazy. And I'm a lazy person. But when it comes to getting shit done, I'll get it done. Maybe at my own pace, but I'll get it done. Um, like, I will help out people when I need to and when they ask for it, not just walk by and ignore them. So, oh yeah, bottom line, I guess I just hate smug fucking cocksuckers. But uh, 
yeah, that's it for this commentary. So I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.